Hi guys, how are you today? My name is Bailey Sarian, and today I want to sit down. Well, there's like a lot going on today. Yesterday, I went to Sephora, and I got a bunch of stuff from Fenty that I've been wanting to try, so I thought I would like put this shit on my face. And then, like three weeks ago, Raw Beauty Christy tagged me in her, what was it called, Truthful YouTuber tag, and it was like a bunch of questions that she answered in her video and then tagged me in it. I'm great at talking. So I'm gonna answer these questions and then do my makeup and then try the new stuff and it's gonna be a good time. We're also in the jungle, FYI, if you didn't notice, there's a jungle in the background. Let me start with my eyebrows. Recently, I've been using the M Cosmetics Brow Cream and I have the shade Taupe. So it's like a little mascara wand. So. Yeah, okay. It's like a little mascara wand and it has product in there. Um, I've been using this the last couple of days and I've been liking it. So I'm just going to fill in my brows. I like to do my eyebrows first because I don't know, it changes. Sometimes I don't like to do my eyebrows first and then sometimes I do. Whenever I do my Monday shows, I always start with my eyebrows already on because I cannot talk and do my eyebrows for the life of me, even though I'm doing it right now but like for the most part I can't, so that's why I do them before I start. I feel like lately there's been so many good brow products on the market, like I just can't resist. I have problems deeper than makeup. The truthful YouTuber tag. So it's a bunch of questions about just YouTube life, I guess. First question, have you ever received a product, tried it, didn't like it, and then decided not to review it? Yeah, of course. I just don't wanna waste my time on stuff that I don't like. No, but like, okay, look, the last time it happened, I had this indie brand reach out to me and they sent me some of their products and they were, like, they also gave me their background story, like how they started, why they started, what their mission is, et cetera, et cetera. And I was like, oh, cool, I really like that, whatever, cool, yeah. So then I tried it and I won't lie, the stuff, sucked. Like it just wasn't good. The eyeshadows that they sent, they just had no pigment to them. If I swatched with my finger or I swatched with the brush and I really gave it all like, I gave it a good try and I couldn't make the eyeshadows because it was only eyeshadows at the time. I couldn't make them work. And I felt like, well, I don't want to review their stuff and like kick them when they're just starting out. I mean, I don't feel like my negative review necessarily would like ruin the brand, but I just didn't feel comfortable giving them a negative review when they're just like getting started. So I don't know if that's necessarily the right thing to do or the wrong thing to do. So you know how you mess up your eyebrows and then normally you take concealer and you like clean up around. I'll take like a makeup remover wipe and get my concealer brush or my small brush wet with the makeup remover. Yeah, buddy. And then I'll clean up my brow that way. That way you're not layering like another product on your face and like creating just a really cakey face. But I like to do this. And if I don't have a concealer brush, I'll just use like a Q-tip, that works. Ooh, I love that product so much. So I primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And now I'm going to do a green eye because I'm in the jungle and like, yeah. So this is the Vizart Editorial Brights Palette. And um, I think I'm going to start with this one maybe. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna figure it out as we go. I'm going to place this right into the crease of my eye, doing little circles. Somebody asked me if I could do like a wearable green look. Define wearable. All of my looks are wearable because I'm wearing them. <laughs> Anyways, next question. Products you use alone but don't show or use online. I mean like brand of toilet paper. I don't think there's really much. Wow, I'm exciting, I know. Spilling all the tea on myself. I just recently started using this skincare product called Biologic Researchy. I won't lie, it's pretty expensive. And the reason I started using it is because this lady that I was getting facials from, she would use this product and it's like, wow, it's made my face look so smooth and so nice. And um, I don't show that product because people online tend to get upset when like you show expensive products. I'm just blending this crease until I figure out what I'm doing. So I'm just taking that same color and just like really going at it. Okay, next question. Product you want but won't buy because you don't support the brand. I don't really want anything right now. The market is so oversaturated, it's like, but there is anything I want. This shade right here, 
and I'm going to press this onto my lid. Okay, so next question is, do you have any blocked words? I do on my Instagram. Instagram, I have all the juicy ones like bitch, cunt, slut, whore, ugly, all that good stuff because nobody needs that kind of negativity in their life. No, but there was a period where I was getting like bombarded by a bunch of people calling me like every name in the book. So I definitely went onto my Instagram and like filtered out all those words because what's the point? Do you delete comments? If so, why? Yeah, of course. Look, I got time though, okay? Like I'm still considered a smaller channel or smaller like YouTube person, whatever. So I feel like I still have some sense of control over like negative comments and whatnot. I do go through and like read a lot of my comments to try my best to respond to everybody. And while doing so, I will delete any comments that are just like unnecessary and vile. I don't need that. And I also like, I understand that sometimes people wanna stick up for you and like respond back to them, but then it just turns into this never ending back and forth, getting nowhere, name calling, just ridiculous waste of time comment section, you know? Like if somebody is calling me like a whore and I deserve to like die, that's not really benefiting me in any type of way. Like it's not constructive criticism, it's just like annoying as shit. <laughs> This is from ColourPop. It's a Jelly Much eyeshadow and it's called Into Focus. Um, the next question is, do you block people? Of course I block people. <laughs> I block people who deserve to be blocked. Cause there was this one person, I don't know who they were because they never used their real name like on YouTube or whatever. They didn't have a profile picture. So I couldn't like find them on Facebook and stalk them. <laughs> rude. Every single video I posted, they would just leave some mean comment. So yeah, I blocked them. Like, why are you here? It's funny how green I am today, right? Brought to you by Sprite. Oh, I wish. This is another Visart palette and it's called the Dark Matte palette. And I want this color right here. And then come up in here, up in here. Up in here. Have you ever lied about a product to stay on good terms with the brand? I don't think so. I think there's been a couple of times where like I really liked a product. Kind of like the e.l.f. concealer. The new one, the 16 hour concealer. Like when I first used it, I was like, holy crap, this is the best thing ever. And then as time has gone by, I don't think I like it as much. I mean, it gives good coverage, but it keeps doing this weird like cakey thing on my face. Initially when I used it, I loved it. But then as time goes on, it's like, wait a minute, maybe I don't love it as much as I thought I did. So I don't feel like it's ever on purpose. I really got nothing to lose. So now I'm taking a makeup remover wipe and I'm just going to clean up underneath my eyes. Hmm. And then I'm gonna like slice the edge here, clean it up. So I went to Sephora and I got Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder and I got the shade Butter, so I'm gonna use that. And I also got Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in 160. I got the, <laughs> these, the, these are her liquid lipsticks, um, the Stunna Lip Paint, and I got the shade Unveil, Unbutton, and Unattached. So let's try it. MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW25. I always go back to this, like it never lets me down. Have you ever initially liked a product when you reviewed it and then changed your mind but didn't let your audience know? Yeah, I was just talking about it. The e.l.f. concealer is a great example. Like first impression videos, I like and I dislike. I like them because I like trying new stuff and I also like seeing people use new stuff because like something could look really good at first and then as time goes on, if it's like a foundation or whatever, and the next thing you know, it looks like garbage on your face, but you're already done filming, so. Sometimes I'll put in the description box like, Oh, FYI, I love this foundation. Or like, oh, by the way, this was shit. Come to learn that not many people will read the description box. Okay, so now I'm going to use the concealer. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer, and this is 160. Um, an influencer you don't trust. I guess I kind of don't trust myself. <gasps> I don't trust myself. <laughs> That's deep. Do you watch Game of Thrones? No, I've never seen it. I have no idea what it is. Swear. You have no idea what it is, you brought it up. Well, because I've been Fire. seeing that it's everywhere. No, I mean, I know about it, but I don't know what it is. Is it like wizards? Is it like the future? Um, I got a PR package from Urban Decay. It was the um, Game of Thrones. 
Game of Thrones collection. I felt bad like I shouldn't showcase it because I don't even watch the show, you know? I just feel like a fake. Oh my God, Game of Thrones collection, I love this. But like, I have no idea if it's like wizards or anything. I don't trust you because, oh, people I don't trust, I don't trust Sonic. Sometimes he's real shady. <laughs> Influencer I don't trust. I don't trust any of you bitches out there. Influencer I don't trust. The shady ass people who post Dr. Phil episodes, but then they put 3000 commercial breaks in there. I'm just trying to watch this Dr. Phil episode, but you insert 3000 ep like commercial breaks. I can't even enjoy it properly. Now I'm going to use this. It's the setting powder and it's in the shade butter. I feel so dumb because the um, Sephora VIB sale is coming up. I think it's like next week or something and my dumb ass just went and like spent all this money. Anyways, ooh, this is cute little packaging. Look, and shit, shit. Whoa, the smell of this powder is bringing back some kind of weird memory. Beautiful, love this. I'm going back to this palette, this shade right here on my lower lash line. Oh yeah, baby. Influencer you trust the most? Judge Judy. Well, she's not really on there. They're posted illegally. Secret tips or product application you don't show while on camera. I almost use this every single day. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover Camouflage Makeup for Face and Body. And I've mentioned it a handful of times on my YouTube channel, but the reason I don't show it is because I don't want people to go out and buy this and think that they can use this as a foundation. I only strictly use this to cover my hyperpigmentation when it's not like getting covered by the foundation or whatever. I'll take a little bit of this and like dab it over just to hide it. I just don't, cause I've seen some people say that they got this, they tried it and they hated it because they're trying to use it as a foundation and like you can't use this. Well, you can use this as a foundation, but it's, I would not suggest it as a foundation. So, and I just feel like that's not a product that everybody needs. I want it because I want to cover my hyperpigmentation. So that's why I use it. Was this what I used? Jelly Much? Yeah. When this stuff dries, you cannot move it. Let's dust off the powder. Let's do it together. One, two, three. I'm just taking a blending brush and like going over the edges. Oh, I've been really liking these. It's the City Bronzer from Maybelline and I have the shade 200. It's matte, has no shimmer. Oh, liar, it has a little like, it looks like it has little light reflectors in there, but for the most part, it's pretty damn matte. And I've been using this every day for the last like <laughs> week maybe. And I've just been enjoying it on my face. So I use an angle brush and just like dab it into the hollow of my cheek. Dabbing it. Oh yeah, questions. I'm really good at these. Have you ever showed one product, but you were actually using another? No. Wait, have I? That's a no from me, Barb. Have you ever not disclosed a sponsorship? No. Oh my God, I just like realized that I'm blonde. Wow, I forgot. I can't believe I went blonde. What a shithead I am. Jeez but I love it. I don't know, you guys, I was just really bored. I was so sick of my look. Oh, plus I found like a bunch of gray hairs in the back of my head. And I was like, you know what? This is my sign because I didn't want to like dye my hair dark. If I'm gonna dye my hair, I was just like, I'm gonna go back to blonde. But I just felt blah. And I was like, I just need a makeover. I'm so sick of how I look. I'm just bored. Last minute I texted my friend Ivan, he does hair. And I was like, hey, what do you think if I went blonde? I was hoping he would talk me out of it. And he was like, F yes, let's do it. And I was like, damn it. He was supposed to be the one to talk me out of it, but okay. And here we are. These are the only lashes I've been wearing. Bold face makeup, it's lash day. They're pretty big and dramatic, but I'm going for just like dramatic. If you haven't caught on. Okay, next question. Have you ever had a bad interaction with a brand? <laughs> Let me tell you, yep, I sure have. I sure have. I sure have. So like not to name the brand, but I'm sure a lot of you could figure it out if you've been following me for a long time, but like 
This was back in 2014. Like, Instagram was really getting, you know, people were like growing and starting to like make money off of Instagram. And I didn't really know you could make money off of Instagram, right? I was just posting selfies and tagging makeup. Like it was that simple. And I posted this one brand and I used their hashtag. And then they wrote a comment on my picture from the company itself. And they were like, we love this picture. If you write back, yes, brand, we'd love to repost, something like that. You know, I wanted to like grow on Instagram and whatnot. So of course I was like, oh hell yeah, they can repost my picture cause they have over a million followers. F yes, repost me please. Anyway, so I responded to them and I never heard anything back and I never got reposted on their Instagram. So I was like, what a bummer, but whatever, okay. Like a couple months later, I get Snapchats <laughs> of my face on a gondola in a store, I think it was like Ulta. My face was on the gondola and it was saying that I used their product, which to be fair, I did use their product, but I don't know when I gave permission for them to use my face in a store on a gondola. I had people in Spain telling me that my picture was up, people in Canada. Australia, all over the US telling me that my face was on either a gondola or on the wall. So I tried to take them to court and they completely bullied me and said that like I should be thankful that they're giving me all this free press, that I am just out for their money. And then I lost the case in a lot of brands terms and conditions. It says, if you use their hashtag, you're agreeing for them to pretty much own the rights to this image now, which I still don't think is right. I didn't sign anything. Like it just still to this day, like doesn't make any sense. Ever since then, I haven't used the brand because fuck that. It's not even that I wanted like money. It was the principle that they completely took advantage of me. I mean, at the time they were doing campaigns with other influencers and I know that they were getting money for it. So why did they get to use my picture for free? Because I agreed to their stupid hashtag. Anyways, if a brand reaches out and says, hey, we love this image, type hashtag yes. If we can post or reshare or whatever, don't hashtag them back, okay? This is any brand, because I've seen them doing it. Anyways, I'm not allowed to work with them or anything like that. I've been blacklisted, which is totally fine. Have you ever bandwagoned with other people's thoughts on a particular product? I don't think so. I don't know. I feel like I've always just kind of been doing my own thing. I'm not trying to like say I'm cool and different, but like, I'm just like cool and different. I've just been doing my own thing. Let's do some highlight. And I have here the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Mean Money and Hustla Baby. This is not sponsored. Everything that you are seeing has been purchased. I feel like a woman. This is ColourPop Blush and this is called Get laid? It's called get laid? Well, okay, all right. Get laid. Last question and it is, things other creators do that get on your nerves? Shady, shady little question. Okay, I'm gonna line my lips with Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil number 706. I'll tell you what bothers me about other creators is when they over apologize for every little thing that they do because we're natural, we're human, we're normal and you shouldn't have to apologize. And it's really sad that we do that. I do it all the time. I'll be like, oh my God, sorry, sorry, eh, sorry. Even in my real life, sorry, oh, so sorry. But also like for me, I can't speak for everybody else, but for me, it's such a habit of apologizing. I have to relearn, like retrain my brain how to stop. Like even when I'm filming, if there's like a noise in the background, sorry that there's a noise in the background. That's what, that's what annoys me. Stop apologizing, just let it be. Fenty Beauty Stun a Lip Paint in Unbutton. ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Gloss, and it's called NASA. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you wanna? wear it, let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Sorry I didn't have like any juicy things to spill. I hope you guys have a really good day today. You make good choices. And other than that, I'll be seeing you guys later. <laughs> Bye. <gasps> oh my God, I did not see you there. I'm just lost in the jungle. Can you like point me in the right direction? Okay, no? All right, I'll just like stand over here and look pretty. <laughs>